Okay, in this video I'm going to go through a couple of examples of mole calculations and these calculations are going to involve three different quantities. It's going to involve molar mass, mass and moles. Okay, let's take a look at our first question. Aluminum oxide has the formula Al2O3. How many moles of aluminum oxide are present in 5.1 grams of Al2O3? Now, in this question, Al2O3 is basically aluminum oxide. And we've got the mass and we've got the formula. Now, from the equation which we use, molar mass is equal to mass divided by number of moles. Molar mass, the units, is grams per mole, as I said in the previous video. And the, gra the units for mass are grams, and the units for moles are, are, are mo M O L, mole, mole, shortened to that. Now, for this question, we don't have. We only have one of these quantities. We only have mass, or so it seems. We can find out what the molar mass is because we know what the formula is, and we have the periodic table at our disposal. So from looking at the periodic table, we can work out the molar mass. So let's do that now, so that eventually we'll be able to find out the number of moles. So. We know that molar mass is basically the same as relative formula mass, but with the units added on to the end. So let's find out the relative formula mass of Al203, so that eventually we'll find the molar mass. So what we need to do is add up the relative atomic masses from each of the atoms in this molecule. So Al203 first, we've got two moles of that atom, so we need to multiply the 27.0 times 2. So what we do is... Uh, 27.0 times 2 and we need to add this to the other one which is 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 O3 and O3 that means that there's 16 moles of the oxygen atoms so we need to times the 16.0 oh, sorry 16.0 which we get from the periodic table here with this being a relative atomic mass we multiply this by 3 and when we add that up let me add this up right now 27.0 times 2 I don't need to put the point o there in the calculation but yeah I just wrote it since it's, it's on the periodic table plus 16 16.0 times 3 and that gives us 102 102 and this is our relative formula mass therefore because this is the same as relative molar mass, except molar mass has these units, therefore the molar mass M, which is represented by big M, equals 102 grams per mole. And let me just... I'll just use, it, I'll use this space down here. If this fills up, I'll use this space. So now we have the molar mass, and we have the mass. And if we rearrange this equation now, if we... To get moles on one side, we need to we need to do a two-step process. So the first thing we need to do is multiply both sides by the number of multiply both sides of this equation by moles, and therefore we know that moles times molar mass equals mass. The units are here, so I don't write units in here, but yeah. And now what we need to do is divide both sides of the equation by the molar mass so that we have moles on its own on this side of the equation. So what we, we do now is we have moles is equal, mo, the number of moles are equal to um, mass divided by molar mass. Since this has gone on over here and it's been divided by this. Now... So now we have mass equals moles equals mass divided by molar mass. So that's how we can get the moles. And where the question is asking us how many moles. So what we do now is we use this molar mass we have here and divide this mass here by it. So 
I'm using a different color. 5.1 divided by 102 equals 102 equals 1 over 20 which is 0 0.05 0 0.05 so our answer the number of moles is 0 0.05 and we need to put the units on here 0 0.05 moles and that is our answer 0 0.05 moles okay let's move on to the next question it's a very similar question to this last one to the previous one how many moles of calcium bromide are present in 39.98 grams of CABR2 and it's the same sort of layout as the previous question we've been given one of the one of the things in the, in the equation from mole, wait, I'll, let me draw this up here so that I don't run out of space. We've been given one quantity from the equation molar mass equals mass divided by moles. And we need to do the same thing we need to work out the not the molar mass because we have only got one quantity so far so far we've only got this we need to work out this and this is easy to work out periodic table so let's do this again the molar mass well the 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 the, the, the relative formulas we need to work out the relative formula mass and that's represent let me do this up here relative formula mass equals CABR2, we've got one mole of this and two moles of this atom. Uh, 40 point, four, I don't need to put that in brackets actually. 40.1, and we add this to two times, two times 79.9. And this gives us, wait, 40, 40.1 plus, Two times seventy nine point nine. That gives us one hundred and ninety nine point nine. One hundred ninety nine point nine. And this doesn't have units since right now it's relative formula mass, which is just the ratio. But now we can say because we know that molar mass is the same as relative formula mass except with units we can say that the molar mass represented by big m equals 199.9 grams per mole grams per mole okay now now that we've got this we've got two quantities we have this yup and we have this yup now we can just work out this by rearranging it multiplying both sides by the number of Right, multiplying both sides by this quantity moles and dividing both sides by molar mass and as I showed you before this would produce the equation moles equals mass divided by molar mass and now what we can do with this is very simple we just divide the mass by the molar mass so the mass being 39.98 39.98 we divide that by 199.9 and therefore moles equals that which is equal to let me just work this out 39.98 divided by 199.9 0 0.2 so the number of moles is 0. Point, let me let me do this in another color 0. Point, 0. Point, this is very very simple 0. 0.2 moles and we just write that as mol okay now as i showed you just now this rearrangement process it's very important because sometimes we're given like it won't be always be that we're given these two or given this or given this and this so we need to be able to rearrange this to be able to find out different quantities 
So rearrangement is quite an important skill when you're solving these kind of problems. The two other equations which we can get from this, as I showed you, I showed you basically both of them up there. And the two were mass equals molar mass multiplied the num by the number of moles. And the other equation was that moles equals mass divided by molar mass. And sometimes this is represented by a pyramid. Sometimes you can use a sort of a pyramid to remember how this is how this is all how this is how they're all related, how they they're linked. And the pyramid looks something like this. Uh, I'm trying to get big enough pyramid. Oh my gosh, my pyramid's terrible. Okay, that'll do. And what we can write here is that the mass, which I'll do, I'll represent with a small m. Mass, this being mass, in grams. It's usually in grams. Sometimes the units can 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 vary. And if the units vary, you want to convert it into grams before you start the problem solving, like the calculations part. So mass is equal to molar mass, and that's represented, as I said before, by big M equals molar mass multiplied by the number of moles. And moles is represented by um, the, the symbol N because it's the number of like moles is a sort of, of, of like I said before it's the num number of number of particles basically so it's represented by a small n and you might see something like this in a, maybe a textbook or something like that so this let me just annotate this quickly mass usually in grams is equal to the molar mass this being in grams per mole is 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 the mass equals gram in uh, the molar mass multiplied by the number of moles and this is usually in uh, units mole mole okay let's move on to two more questions and these ones are going to include include some more rearrangement of formulae sorry Uh, sorry about that. My my phone was ringing. Okay. This question: What is the mass of two moles of sodium fluoride? So, as you may have noticed, in this question, we've been given the number of moles, which is two, and we've been given the formula. And from this formula, we can work out the molar, the uh, yeah, the molar mass. So first thing we want to do is work out the molar mass using this periodic, ta periodic table data. And Na, we've got one mole of each of them, so the MR, the relative formula mass would be 23, wait, nope, 23.0 plus 19.0, and that would equal... 23, wait, 23 plus 19 that's 42 that would be 42 so the MR would be 42 therefore it's therefore the, the the molar mass big M would equal 42 grams per mole okay now with this we can work out the mass as we know mass is the molar mass multiplied the mo the molar mass multiplied by the number of moles so all we need to do here is two let me let me change the color here is two multiplied by 42 and that would give us 84 and the units for this since it's mass would be grams 84 grams so that would be the mass in two moles of sodium fluoride. Okay. 
this is an interesting question because this question here is not asking us to find out one of the quantities in that equation that we had before or it's asking us to you to find out something outside of the equation but it's very much you may have noticed already it's very much something that's linked to the quantities in those in that equation relative molecular mass being represented by the symbol mr is equal to molar mass without units basically this but without units therefore what what it's asking us to do is find out the molar mass and then just take off the units take off the units minus the units so that's what we're going to do okay so all we need to do we don't even need to know the compound all we need to do is use that equation that we had and work out the, the, the molar mass so we divide the number the grams by the number of moles since molar mass is equal to the, the mass divided by the number of, of moles I mean yeah and so therefore the molar mo, the mass equals molar mass multiplied by the number of moles from multiplying both sides by moles so what we can do here oops wait 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 <laughs> i didn't nah we don't need that we don't need this equation for this question we don't need this equation who needs this one molar mass equals the mass which is 2.6 and we divide this by 0 0.05 and that gives us divided by 0 0.05 it's probably going to multiply by 20 so yeah 52 grams per mole and therefore since this this is this without units all we need to do now is remove the units therefore the relative molecular mass m r is equal to 52 and yeah just 52 the m r is equal to 52 and those are the two questions which involve more of a slightly different kind of rearrangement um i hope you found this video useful and that's basically the end see ya